ladies and gentlemen, many of you that know the history know that America made over 90% of its wealth on the cotton fields. And it was our forefathers that picked that cotton out in the baking hot sun. Well, those fields are not so kind to the farmers anymore. In fact, a lot of farmers have lost their cotton fields to the drought. I'm going to play part of a story that came out on CNBC. And what's happening to the cotton industry? It's like a complete reversal from all of the things America has been able to do just on the cotton field and sending that cotton out worldwide, selling it. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and play part of this story. Gary Evans is a Texas cotton farmer facing a severe drought. This year, from August of 21 to August of 2022, we had about an inch and a half of rainfall. Extreme heat and lack of precipitation forced the fourth generation farmer to walk away from 75% of his cotton crop. And Evans is not alone. Across Texas, farmers are expected to abandon roughly 69% of cotton acres that they planted earlier this year. The Lone Star State accounts for about 40% of U.S. cotton production. It's been one of the harshest growing years that we have ever seen historically, all the way back to the 1950s. And it's not just cotton farmers who are impacted by the drought. Cotton gins, where the cotton is processed, may be facing an even tougher time. It's a tough year for the infrastructure of the cotton industry. And we've got a product that, unfortunately, if we, if we don't gin, we don't make a lot of money. So we're, we're at the mercy of, uh, of the weather as a part. America's cotton production is expected to be about 14 million bales in 2022 down 21% from the previous year. Cotton prices, which surged in the spring of 2022 following growing Chinese demand, have since fallen amid economic uncertainty and a strong U.S. dollar. The cotton industry is facing other headwinds too, as consumers shift towards clothes made from synthetic fibers like polyester and nylon. Before the arrival of man-made fibers, cotton really was king. Cotton was widely accessible, uh, in terms of it was affordable, it was available all over the world. The U.S. is the world's largest exporter of cotton, sending the vast majority of the cotton it grows abroad. China and India, the top two cotton producers, account for about half of the globe's harvested cotton. So what impact will the drought and consumer preferences for synthetic fibers have on America's cotton producers? CNBC traveled to Texas, the U.S.'s largest cotton producing state, to find out. Barry Evans is a cotton farmer in West Texas with three decades of experience. The 60-year-old says cotton is an ideal crop for this region because of its drought-tolerant qualities and its ability to bring in a healthy return. For our money, it's our best cash crop. It returns us the most dollars for what we grow. But an almost complete lack of rainfall meant Evans was forced to walk away from a significant portion of his 4,000-acre farm. The drought could cost cotton farmers and related industries in Texas $3.2 billion in 2022. This drought has been one of the hardest. We've had tough years before. Crop insurance, which acts like car insurance, provides some relief to farmers impacted by natural disasters like drought or a loss of revenue due to a decline in price. But the insurance is costly. A recent study found climate change had triggered an increase in crop insurance payouts to the tune of $27 billion between 1991 and 2017. In a drought like this, crop insurance is a lifesaver for us as farmers. Rising input costs are impacting farmers as well. This past year, our chemicals went up 2 to 300 percent. Our fertilizer more than doubled in price. It is not just a lack of rainwater and rising costs that are hurting cotton farmers. The Ogallala Aquifer, one of the world's largest fresh groundwater resources and a major source of water for the state of Texas, is being depleted. The underground lake, which stretches across eight states, could be exhausted in the next 80 years, due in part to farmers pumping groundwater for irrigation. The Ogallala Aquifer is running out of water. We understand 
that we are every year progressing more and more closely to, to 100% rain-fed cotton production in this part of the world. The declining water levels have forced cotton farmers to convert much of their irrigated fields back to dry land. In 2022, Evans grew 2,000 acres of cotton on his farm, including 500 acres that were irrigated and 1,500 acres that were not irrigated. All of his non-irrigated cotton crops failed. 30 years ago, I was 80% irrigated, and today I'm 15% irrigated. So that's because of the decline in the aquifer. The Ogallala aquifer has become depleted to the point that those acres have to be transitioned into rain-fed or dry land. But at that same time, new technologies, whether it be in breeding, irrigation technology, crop production technologies, have allowed us to maintain our ability to grow cotton in this part of the world. The U.S. is the world's top cotton exporter, providing roughly 35% of the global market in recent years. However, like its farmers, Texas cotton gins, where cotton is processed, are facing a substantially lower output this year. Last year's crop, the 2021 crop, we, for instance, our facility here gin 51,630 bales. It was a great year, second biggest year that we've ever had. This year, we're going to struggle to get 10% of that. Dan Jackson is the manager of Meadow Farmers Co-op Gin in Meadow, Texas. The gin got its start in 1934. Fewer bales harvested this year means less cotton entering and leaving the gin. Cotton exports are forecast to reach a seven-year low of just 12.5 million bales in 2022, an almost 23% decline from 2017. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. So as you can see, it is some major losses going on in an industry that they were literally king in, you know, due to our forefathers labor and now they get that labor a lot from the immigrants so i'm going to show you what a cotton field now this is just normal healthy cotton plants that you see in this picture i'm going to show you a shot of a cotton farm in texas just this past summer Now you can see how badly damaged this field is. And this is due to the drought. So cotton is supposed to be drought resistant, but you can see the drought is taking toll on the plants. And this is what they never, ever expected. They thought they would always get continuous revenue from cotton because it has really been a very generous industry for the Gentiles. But as you can see, they're not getting the yields that they used to get. In fact, they're saying what they got out of their cotton farms this year is well over 23% less than the year before. And remember, the drought is ongoing. In fact, the drought is moving more east. So every single year, more of the country is going to be under the drought. So there is no ending in sight. And what was once a very reliable source of revenue for America looked like that's dwindling away, just like these cotton fields. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.